personal finance and budgeting app, Truebill can save you a whole lot of money through the advanced budgeting and money saving features. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a budget within the Truebill iOS app, but the same steps will apply to the Android version of Truebill as well. Jumping into the Truebill mobile app, I first want to explain a couple of important pieces of information before we actually get started. First, there is a free and a premium version of Truebill. On the free version, you can create up to two custom budgets, which is pretty limited. However, on the premium version, you can create a custom budget for each category of spending available, which I'll show you in just a minute. Premium costs anywhere from $3 to $12 a month as Truebill allows you to make the choice for yourself. Whether you pay $3 or $12, the features will be the same. In addition, there is a seven day free trial. Along with full budgeting capabilities, premium features include full access to your Experian credit report, as well as access to an FDIC insured savings account where you can create savings goals and set up automatic savings. After watching this video, make sure to watch my full Truebill review where I cover everything you need to know before getting started, including any pros and cons, and my overall score out of 10. Now the link for that video will be in the end screen of this video. All right, so after you've linked your financial accounts to Truebill from the dashboard tab, scroll Scroll down until you get to the budgeting section and click on the three bars in the upper right. From there, you can manage all of your budgets. The first thing you'll see is the budget basics section. This is where you can set your expected monthly income as well as how much you expect to spend on bills and utilities. So I'm gonna go ahead and set an example monthly income here. So you can either move this bar up and down to set the amount, click the plus or minus. I'm gonna enter the number here. We'll just say $5,000 set amount and then you can also view the history of your income events meaning you can see every transaction that was income so if you normally get direct deposit twice a month you can view those exact direct deposits by clicking view history the same also applies for the bills and utilities budget so let's go ahead and select that and i'll set the amount as 250 dollars and then what's important about this is you can actually edit the bill list so if i select that these are all of my bills here, but let's say that there's another bill I have that Truebill didn't pick up on. I can go ahead and manually add one by clicking add a bill. And then let's just say rent, add rent. You can search a transaction if it shows up. I'll hit skip. And then we can select when that bill is due each month, how often that bill occurs, and then the amount. All right, so let's go ahead and set up a custom budget. So I'm gonna hit add a budget. And then as you can see, there's a long list of categories to choose from, anything from grocery shopping to business and legal services, but I'm gonna go ahead and select auto and transport. From there, I'll set the amount, we'll say $300, save, and then it shows up right there, but it also shows up in the monthly reports tab, which I'll show you in just a minute. Back on the main tab of your dashboard, you can see a little snapshot of your budgets. However, moving over to the reports tab, this is where you're going to see a much better breakdown of all of your budgets, including any spending that falls outside of your budgets that you've set up. So as you can see, we can view our income events, our bills paid, our current spend overall, and then you can also view spending based on category, even ones that you haven't set up. So as you can see, I didn't set up a grocery budget, but it says that I've spent $123 in that category this month. And that's exactly how you set up and use a budget within Truebill. Now, I'm a huge fan of the budgeting features on this app. I think they're really easy to use and there's a lot of categories available. Now that said, I'm gonna throw in a bonus here and I'll show you how to link an account to the Truebill app. So go ahead and click on the gear icon in the top left, move down to linked accounts, click add account, and then you can search for the bank of your choice or you can scroll through this list. That said, make sure to check out my full review of Truebill by clicking on the end screen here or here. And if you're interested in signing up for Truebill now, make sure to visit the link in the comment section below. As always, make sure to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below, or shoot me a DM on Instagram at Ryan McGregor with two R's at the end. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my Truebill review.